my fairy tale. This 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 is my fairy tale. Girl, shake that left it, tap it, ayy, hey, that left it, tap it, shake that left it, tap it, ayy, hey, that left it, tap it, girl, shake that left it, tap it, that left it, tap it, that left it, tap it. <laughs> What's good, fairy tale gang, and welcome back to the fairy tale, period. Welcome back to the fairy tale. And it's a lay rain up in this piece, y'all aka sequoia in today's video i will be talking about whether or not i will be going back to school now in my last video if you guys haven't watched that i pretty much gave the the, the story behind me dropping out of school and at the end i left a cliffhanger will i go back in this video i will be talking about whether or not i'll go back so stay tuned so again, guys, if you have not watched my last video, uh, my dropped out of school video, go watch that because it makes sense um, for the stuff I'm about to talk about today. And sorry, guys, if you see me continuously look down, even in other videos, I am I, I write down my videos and, and talking points, so I just be okay. So yeah, so it's pretty much a continuation on from like my mindset and stuff from me dropping out of school before. <laughs> So pretty much, again, after that happened, like I said before, my mind was set on like moving to Atlanta. So I was just like, okay, forget about it. I'm moving to Atlanta type, type deal. As time went by, I started to see how that just became more of a distant thing. And I felt like I had to make other plans. So again, the first year I was straight, but then after, um, when I relocated, when I moved from Fayetteville, I started contemplating it a little bit more. Like, what is, you know, what what is, what is it that I want to do? But I had always thought about it, though. It was always like a back and forth thing. Like, should I go back? Uh, uh, uh. Earlier this year, I, I thought about it. I was like, listen, this is my last chance. If I don't enroll back in school this fall, that's it. You know what I'm saying? That's it for me. I, it, you know, I'm not going back to school. So. so I told myself I would give myself by July to make the decision. Months is going by, months is going by. I'm debating, I'm debating. Um, because again, in my head, I was like, either go back to WSSU or go back to Fayetteville State. And both of those options was just really just not exciting for me because again my major was mass communications and I said it in the last video it was never really one of those things that I had a plan like a lot of people peers they major in something and they're like yeah when I get this degree I want to do this that and a third with it I was never like that I never said I'm gonna get this to j this job after I graduate with this mass communications degree it was always I'm gonna go to school I'm gonna get this degree when I graduate I'm gonna do what I really want to do <laughs> it was never really like a plan even in mass communications I thought like like whenever I was first trying to see what it was about uh before I came to college it was like hmm, you know I guess it's okay you know looking at the stuff that you can do I came across producers like being behind the scenes on on the set of like my favorite TV shows and movies and stuff. So I thought that was cool. But again, it was never like, when I graduate, I'm gonna go get a job at a production studio. It was never that. So I was never passionate in it. I didn't feel excited about going back to WSSU or Fayetteville State to pursue a mass communications degree. That was my thought process the whole time. And then I wanna say maybe June, I talked to a couple of my friends and they were just pretty much talking to me about, yeah, I'm gonna go back to school. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I wanna go back to school, you know? I feel like it's a good thing for me. And you know, I was like, great for them. I love to see it. Shout out to all my peers and my dogs who graduated. I'm so proud of you guys. You guys are great. I love it so much. So I thought that was such a great idea. So I was like, okay, okay, lit. And I started thinking like, yo, I thought about this before. Like I said, I told myself I would get myself by July and it's June. 
do I want to go back to school? And again, I was still in the same place. Like, uh, I don't know, man. Like, it's just, it's, it's not exciting. Like, I was not excited about it. And then to think, too, that I had essentially made the move from WSSU to Fayetteville State before. And I currently live in a 336 area. So essentially, I would be doing it again, moving back to Fayetteville. And I just, I did not. One, like I was just not feeling it for whatever reason until it dawned on me now before in my last video I talked about going through a phase of where I was like I don't know about school and in that phase I had thought about transferring again and that thought came up because I had a, a whole school in mind and everything so that thought came up again and I was like yo let me check it out. And another thing that was interesting is that earlier in the year, around the same time I thought about going back to school, I made the decision to give myself by July. I was thinking about different things that I wanted to do in my life, like different goals. I was just like, what do I want to do? And I just started to write things down about what I wanted to do in my life in general. And I made a plan, got excited about the plan, like it was this whole thing, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna pursue this this plan without without school. You know, I wasn't even thinking about school. I was like, I'm gonna do this, it's gonna be great, and yeah. So as I'm researching the school, I come across this program, and I didn't even know this program was an option, and I came across this program that pretty much is literally what I made plans to do without even needing the degree. You know what I'm saying? So once I seen that, I was like, oh my gosh, the alignment. The alignment. I was like, yo, this is, this is, it don't get no better than this. It was exactly what I was trying to do. And to me, it's not even about getting the, the degree. It's about the material that I'm going to learn. And guys, when I tell you, it was crazy because I was, again, I wasn't sure because I felt like I had PTSD from, from what Fable, from my experience at Fable State. Just that whole little dropped out of school thing. I got PTSD, so I wasn't really sure about whether or not I should be going back to school or not. So I sat on it for a little bit and I was like, you know what? I'm actually really excited about this. I'm more excited about this than going back to any of my other schools. This is lit. I'm excited and it actually aligns with what I want to do. And like, it don't get no better, y'all. It don't get no better. So I took that excitement as indication for me to pursue it. I applied for the school, got in, and I'm not gonna tell you guys what school quite yet. I'm gonna maybe do a reveal. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, by the time you guys are watching this video, uh, first day of class probably has already passed and I'm currently back in school. So all that to say, yes guys, I am back in school. I'm going back to school. I'm super duper excited about this. Like y'all have no clue like how excited I am about this and it's about to be so dope now one thing it is gonna take me about two to three years to finish which is crazy because i didn't want to go back to Fable state because i felt like i was gonna have to wait a whole year to not being out of school for two years and going back to to have to go to school for about two to three years but i feel like because it's something that i'm excited about and i'm actually passionate about I don't mind at all. Like, I really don't mind going back to school for another two, three, two to three years. And yeah, guys, like I'm just really excited to take you guys on the journey with me. And this is so exciting. So exciting. So exciting. Oh, yay. One thing I must say, even though I am transferring to a whole nother school, Fayetteville State is still my alma mater. I'm still an alumnus of Fayetteville State. I don't care what nobody say. Even though I didn't get my degree from there, I still 
know me when I walk on that campus now because in my graduation pictures, y'all, just be prepared for me to have three different schools in it because I wouldn't have gotten as far as I got without those three schools, you know, with, you know, without the three schools that I utilized, the transfer credits and everything. So I will be taking a very, very different graduation picture. Stay tuned for that in about two to three years. It's going to have all three of my schools on it. If not all three, at least they will stay in the school that I'm going to now. It's lit. Oh, it's lit. It's definitely lit and I'm definitely excited but other than that that is the end of the video guys just stay tuned it's about to be a lit journey and if you gang you fairy tale gang you're gonna be on this lit vibe with me comment down below any other video ideas that you want to see what type of school vlogs that you want to see yeah guys that's pretty much it i hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the next one i hope you guys have a blissful day or night whenever time you're watching this and yeah have a great one see you later fairy tale gang peace